Professor Stephen Gitahi Kiyama is defiantly staying on as the University of Nairobi's Vice Chancellor, despite the obvious resistance from a section of teaching staff and student community. While holding on to an interim court order and in his favor, and the Public Service Commission interview results that ranked him top, Kiyama is swimming against the tide with Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha insisting the Professor of Veterinary Services will not assume office unless President Uhuru Kenyatta directs. So, the question we're asking is, who or what force is backing Professor Kiyama's push? Let's get more from our very own Francis Gashuri. Until his now controversy ridden appointment as the 8th University of Nairobi Vice Chancellor, Professor Stephen Getahi Kiyama was the institution's Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of human resource and administration. If we respected the institutions, we would not be having this. That appointment 16 days ago, thrusting the country's top ranked public institution of higher learning into the limelight for all the wrong reasons. Now, even when I'm here now talking to you, I'm still talking about Vice Chancellor. Other than cancelling Professor Kiyama's appointment to head the University of Nairobi, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha, who headed the institution for 10 years, also sent packing the council led by Professor Julia Ojambo. Kiyama is clinging on to an interim high court order, but has not been able to access the vice chancellor's office that is currently occupied by Professor Isaac Mbeche, who was appointed by Magoha in an acting capacity. Kiyama has even sent Mbeche on compulsory leave to demonstrate he was in charge at the UON Towers. For us, we are waiting to see a permanent resolution to this problem. We don't want to work with someone who tomorrow will not be vice chancellor this afternoon. Because then we'll be investing in nothing and it's not worth it. For an institution with vast business interests running into over 22 billion shillings annually, the vice chancellor's seat is not only influential, but a subject of intense lobbying, with top political players in the country also in the game plan. Magoha almost letting the cart out of the bag on forces he claims are pushing Kiyama's appointment. And I'm not beholden to anybody, because I will take orders from my appointing authority. That is precisely what is happening. It is very unfortunate that it's happening, because somebody some, somewhere is pulling strings that wants to destroy the university. I can sit here very, very firmly very firmly, that I'm not serving anyone's interest. Uh, because in an academic institution, because can you imagine that uh, you confine a university like this one to some idea of some person who is outside, and yet the university was set to come up with new ideas. And now you, as an institution, you are perpetuating ideas of one person. That institution should be closed. In the vice chancellor's recruitment process spearheaded by the Public Service Commission, Kiyama was ranked first with an 80% score with Professor Madara Ogot, Professor Patricia Kamerimbote, and Professor Isaac Merokambeche in the top four list. Professors Elijah Omwenga, Solomon Shibairo, and Banan Joroge finished fifth, sixth, and seventh respectively, while Professor Ruth Wanjiro Karevi was not trunked because she did not produce original clearance certificates from Kenya Revenue Authority and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, results that the disbanded University Council used to appoint Kiyama. So let's take a hypothetical example where you have three people appointed to go to Kenya, to go and lead Kenya University. The order of one, two, three. The, the government, which basically means the presidency, looks at many other things. And the president is not bound by my recommendation, is also not bound by the recommendation of the council or any other entity that is appointing. Are we together here? For now, Professor Kiyama insists he's in charge at the University of Nairobi until 6th January 2025. But for how long will he swim against the tides of a stonewalling education CS, a hostile student population, and a resistant teaching fraternity? Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.